Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, now we're going to do these two problems that basically want you to find the weight. Um, I'm sorry, given the weights of the various components of the truck, replace the system with forces by an equivalent resultant force and specify its location measured from B. So basically what you're doing is you are bringing all these forces together into one force that would represent the forces and the mom moment being applied at point B. And for the second part of the problem, we're going to do the same thing, but at point A. So let's do the first part. First, you want to find the sum of the forces. And the sum of the forces, assuming up is positive, is negative 3,500 pounds minus 5,500 pounds minus 1,750 pounds. And that gives you 10,000. 750 pounds. With this number, you can find uh, both parts of the problem. So, first we're going to go around B. So, the sum of the moments from point B, assuming counterclockwise is positive, is equal to this force times this distance right here. Let me switch colors. this distance right here. So that will be negative 3,500 times 3. Then this force times this distance right here, which is negative 5,500 times 17. And then another color this force right here times this distance right here is generating the last moment which is negative 1750 times 25 and let me go back to there we go so when you add this all up you get 147,750 foot pounds. That's the sum of the moments of B, assuming counterclockwise is positive. And this is negative because it's all negative. So if you had to find the distance D, which is the distance from this force being applied, where is it being applied in order to generate the same moment? then you know that the sum of the forces times that distance d is equal to the sum of the moments at b. So d is equal to this divided by this, which is 147,750 foot pounds over 1750 uh, pounds. The pounds cancel out and you just get feet. So D is equal to 13.744 feet. Now you know that the moment is negative assuming counterclockwise is positive therefore the force is this way with respect to B. So you know it's to the right of the point. And it is kind of obvious in this problem. So it's 13 feet. So it will be somewhere around here. For, let's call it part A. Now let's do the same thing. But for part B. So let me add another page. And for part B, we already have that D 
the sum of the forces is 10,750. We found that on the first part. And we're doing the exact same thing, but from point A. So, sum of the moments at A is equal to minus 2 times 750 for the first one, assuming counterclockwise is positive, and that creates a negative moment. So let me pick a color here. So it's this arm times this force. Now, plus 6 times 550, I'm sorry, 5,500, which is the sum right here, times this force. And the last one is plus 3,500 times 20, which is this sum right here times this force of 3,500. And it makes a cut clockwise, so it means that it's positive. So that gives you 99,500 foot pounds. And it's positive, therefore, the moment with respect to A is counterclockwise because we assumed that counterclockwise was positive. Therefore, the point D is to the the point is to the left of point A. So you know that the sum of the forces times D is equal to the sum of the moments around A. So when D is equal to sum of the moments around A over the sum of the forces, which is 99,500 foot-pounds over sum of the forces, which is 10750 pounds. Pounds cancel out, and D is equal to 9.26 feet which is, let's say, somewhere around there. 40 second part. Final answer. And final answer for the first one.